As a homeowner, or maybe as an investor, what do you know about protecting your assets? How will you protect your assets? It's not only about purchasing and accumulating assets. You have to find a way and understand the risk that you are running when you own several properties, right? How to protect your assets. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just giving you an idea here based on my experience on what you need to do to protect your assets. Have you ever heard about a living trust? A living trust is a document, non living entity, right? Non living entity that is created to bring as many assets as you want, right? So this is something that you have to discuss with a lawyer who uh, does living trusts, right? Who, who, who is an expert on how to create living trusts. So if you want to put those properties under a living trust, right? The living trust becomes the owner of that property, right? And you as a creator of the living trust or the grantor of the living trust, you become the owner of that trust. This living trust may protect your asset, right? So a living trust is like a shield protecting your assets, right? I'm gonna give you an example. If you don't have a living trust and God forbidden, but you passed away and you have your kids, you have your family members, you have maybe debt, right? Uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, things against your name, right? Debt against your name. So. By having a living trust, the living trust is going to protect the asset, right? In that living trust, you're going to tell the world who is going to be the beneficiaries for those assets and how much each beneficiary will get.